What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're going to be talking about a few different horror topics in this video here today. We'll be talking about Jurassic World Rebirth. We'll be talking about the Alien franchise. We'll be talking about Smile 2. We'll be talking about Terrifier 3. And we'll be talking about uh, the Black Phone 2. So just to start off here with Jurassic World Rebirth, because that's the biggest update we've gotten today. The film is going to be set five years following the events of Jurassic World Dominion. And as you see here coming across your screen, these are the first look images of the film. And it's set five years after Dominion when the planet's ecology has proven largely in, inhospitable to dinosaurs. Those remaining exist in isolated equatorial environments with climates resembling the one in which they once thrived. The three most colossal creatures within that tropical biosphere hold the key to a drug that will bring miraculous life-saving benefits to humankind. Jurassic World Rebirth sees an intrepid team racing to secure DNA samples from the three most colossal creatures across land, sea, and air. Scarlett Johansson plays Zora Bennett, a skilled covert operations expert contracted to lead a team on a top secret mission to secure genetic material from the world's three most massive dinosaurs. When Zora's operation intersects with a civilian family whose boating expedition was capsized by marauding aquatic dinos, they all find themselves stranded on an island where they come face to face with a sinister, shocking discovery that's been hidden from the world for decades now this does genuinely sound like a much better version to me just reading this it sounds like a much better version of jurassic park 3 that sounds like what we're about to get it sounds like a better version of jurassic park 3 mixed in with hopefully all the better elements of jurassic park and the lost world now i didn't mind jurassic world itself that first one we got in 2015 but of course they subsequently started getting worse with each passing film with dominion being the worst of the recent trilogy I hope that this is a return to form of sorts, but we've been hearing about return to forms and how a lot of the stars, Scarlett Johansson herself, is very excited to be part of this project. So hopefully Gareth Edwards' efforts turns out to be one of the greatest additions we've had to the Jurassic Park franchise in quite some time. Now we're going to talk about Smile 2. Smile 2 is reportedly 2 hours and 12 minutes long. This report comes from the site Feature First, and if this is true, then Smile 2 is longer than the last film. I do recall hearing some concerns about the film's pacing at times from those who have already seen it, so we'll see how that goes. As for our next trailer, according to the Alberta trailer system, a 2 minute and 12 second trailer is expected to drop sometime in the near future. It was rated on August 26th according to this site. I'd expect this trailer to do two things. One, hopefully it reveals the cameo appearance that's planned. And secondly, reveal the accident that has kept Sky Riley out of action for over a year. And I'm really eager to see how this marketing campaign picks up next month. They went all out for the original, but due to the overperformance, I would I would assume things seem to be a bit toned down for this sequel. But I have all the all the faith in the world that next month you're going to really start seeing familiar marketing tactics, maybe another song or two, because I have heard that Sky Riley has another song featured in the film not just blood on white satin has been released so we'll see what comes of smile too but it does seem like again they are just holding on to the marketing for a one month run as opposed to what they were doing last year with that original due to the fact that they have more confidence that this one is going to make if not just as much if not around 100 million and it's going to be a profitable investment for them so we're going to talk about the alien franchise now so sigourney weaver chatted with deadline on returning to alien as ripley ellen ripley she made these comments to Deadline. She said, how much does the public really need or want another Ripley movie? I don't really sit around and think about it, but if it came up, I would consider it. It has come up a bunch of times, but I'm also busy doing other things. She's doing all those Avatar movies. She says Ripley has earned her rest. And I did see a lot of you online talking about if only a certain other actress thought this way about their character. And I get where you're coming from. Not every actress is like that, of course. I don't know what these people's financial situations are like. And of course, obviously, I know that Sigourney is the one that's in more demand over the actors that you guys were talking about in that case Nev Campbell now I do believe she was down for a pitch that had her and Newt back but this film would have ignored three in resurrection this was around 2020 or so I believe but these comments don't surprise me like I said when she's tied up with multiple avatar projects Ripley's story ended just fine during aliens but alien 3 also capped off the character in a decent enough capacity I just wouldn't have sent her off like that but the end does align with her values goals and her thoughts towards the Whaling yutani corporation now i want to talk about the black phone so the black phone 2 is supposed to be shooting in november 
on the 30th, according to the production list site. So the Black Phone 2 will be shooting this November. This is, of course, coming after the, sh the original release date was shifted around. I think it's now supposed to drop October of next year. It was supposed to drop in the summer. Now it's dropping in October, unless I have those misconstrued. But shooting will begin this fall in November after Thanksgiving. And again, my whole my whole prediction as to what we have going forward for anyone who's still confused as to how this could work if it's a sequel, maybe the, the grabber is just an apparition. We saw apparitions and ghosts and things during the first movie. Maybe they're trying to turn the grabber into, into their own Freddy Krueger. That's exactly what I could see unfolding. I could see the grabber just being a supernatural entity that's still killing kids. And this could be Blumhouse's iteration of, Vetti, of Freddy Krueger. That's what I can see happening. That's the most logical thing I could see unfolding, just using some of the connective plot tissue that is remaining from that first movie because it did have supernatural elements. So perhaps the grabber is just a supernatural entity now and it's coming after Finney and everyone else that caused him to die. However many years later this film is set because I'm sure there's going to be a time jump to accommodate these children growing. Now, the last thing we're going to talk about here is going to be Terrifier 3. Damien Leone confirmed that there will be a cool song on the T3 soundtrack that will get hooked that will get hooked on like that what is it the clown cafe song from terrifier 2 he also confirmed my report on the cinemark cups and popcorn buckets because images of them did leak online and damien quoted those images saying some exciting things are on the way so thus that's your confirmation why he quoted leaked images i don't know as you all know and have probably have seen from me when i post stuff i don't tend to post the leaked footage or any sort of leaked images i'm putting it out there because i've seen such activity but i'm not going to put the image or footage out there because again it could be struck down and it's just not it's not a smart move is all i'll say <laughs> that's why i'm not going to post the images but it does have its it has surfaced online damien quoted it so you got confirmation that you can expect those buckets and cups with art the clown on it dressed as santa claus and i have heard rumblings about a head bucket but that's not officially locked that's just a rumbling i've heard but cinemark again 100 percent does have those cups and buckets coming damien leona himself has confirmed it and he also chimed in let us know we'll have a catchy tune hopefully in this three in this third film similar to the clown cafe from t2 let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications so you can never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you want me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video